<laughs> hey, welcome back to TMX Brick Notes. My name is Martin. I've got a lot of Lego stuff to talk about today, and I want you to think about this question uh, that I'll answer at the end of the video. What year were the Lego Pirates released? And the key part to that, because I think most of you should know that answer, how many sets were released and what was the coolest one? I'm going to answer that at the end of the video. All right, let's talk about some Lego stuff. First of all, I want to talk about the last vlog that I did. If you watched that, you saw that I was talking about the first Lego foods that were introduced. And I was going by the BrickLink catalog. I was going by the food and drink section. So items like this one, like the pizza, in 1994 it was released. It was part 4150P02. It's not actually listed in the food and drink section. It is listed in the round decorated tile. So it's under tile. So a little bit tricky, just like the, um, the cups. So a lot of people said maybe the red cup or the cup in general. It was actually released in 1979. So it would have been very early in that first group, but it's not in the food and drink section. It's actually in minifig comma utensil. So it's a minifig utensil. The key there, well, in this case, is that it can fit in the minifig's hand. So if you have any brick link, or I'm sorry, any Lego part that can fit in a minifig's hand, I would look under minifig utensil or minifig weapon, something like that. Anyways, uh, it came out in five colors, white, red, yellow, blue, and trans clear, part number 3899. The last item that people mentioned a few times was the hot dog, released in 1998. But that's it. Okay, so talking about my city update, I was really happy with that. I released the third one, and you can see that it was on a new table. I, I got some help from my dad, and he put, uh, helped me put together two large pieces of plywood. Now most pieces of plywood come in uh, sections of four foot by eight foot. We actually cut them shorter to six foot and then they were jointed, they were grooved. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about. They had a groove, so they put the groove together to hold them so they're more level. And the whole section now is six foot by eight foot, right? Yeah. Anyways, I think you get the idea. I then put um, like plastic tablecloth over the top and then some felt over the top of that. It's mostly not covered right now, so I wanted it to look really nice with that white felt, and Tiffany really appreciated that. A lot of great comments on that, so uh, one of the biggest things I wanted to mention or uh, re-mention is that the first Friday of every month is going to be a city update. And every three months, it's going to be like a city tour. It's going to be staged with sig figs and minifigs. Otherwise, I'm going to just be kind of talking about the progress that I plan to make, talk about the things that I'm working on, show a little more um, of my hand in the picture, um, you know, show, talking about things that I'm doing right, doing wrong, whatever else. I think you get the idea. Hey, a few technical things that I did want to point out. I think Google Plus and YouTube are separating. One thing I have noticed is that I think people that are under 18 or under 16 or something like that, I can't reply to those comments. So there's a few people that I wanted to mention, like Brick Ace, Brick Monkey, Bricks All Over, Sp uh, Sp Engineering Knight, Zombie, Kubrick. I can't reply to your comments. I think I can give you a thumbs up, but that's it. As far as the comments on my city, I did want to point out a few things, some really great comments. Thank you to everyone for that. Brick Jonas was asking how many pieces are in the city. Well, I haven't taken the time to count all that, but I did count one road section that was 15 inches long, pretty much like a half a road section for me. It had 365 pieces, so I'll count the rest later. The Extreme team asked about stoplights. Yes, I'm going to add stoplights. In fact, I might even put one in the next update, not sure, but for sure before the end of the year, I've got something like a work in progress for that. Mason Bricks said the storefront could be a thrift shop. So that's a cool idea. It is that brown with dark green storefront that I haven't done much to the inside with yet, but I will soon. Sebastian Vetter Emerson said it could be a bar. Another good idea. Josh Kish said, are you going to have a train? Great question, Josh. So yes, and I think I answered him. Yes, I'm going to have a train, but it's going to be in the future. I'm not really a big train person. 
And even if I do have a train, I don't think it's going to be a train that will loop around my city. I think it might be a train that kind of makes its way just on the edge. And I would set up like uh, some warehouses. I would set up a way for freight to come into my city, but it's not going to really be an integral part of my city. The Action Rick said the storefront could be a fancy restaurant. Another great idea, although the restaurant is right next to it, so that's probably not going to happen. Some of the cool stuff that I saw on YouTube this week, Bricks for Chris is building another tower. This is a newer tower, and I like his color scheme and the design of it. It looks really cool, so you should check that out. Brick Monkey had a roller coaster in his city, and I asked him where he got it. He said BrickCoaster.com. So did any of you know that there is a compatible compatible roller coaster? I, I had no idea. So it's very cool, BrickCoaster.com. If you want to check me out on Instagram, that's where I do a lot of shots of when sig figs or parts come into the city. That's a good place to check for that. One thing I was asking about in the city updates is Lego trees and how to build them. I'm actually really happy with the tree now that I've kind of sat back and looked at it a few days in a row. There's a lot of leaves on there. It's really good. But three people did mention some good comments. Rick Buildmeister or just Buildmeister. Um, on Instagram, he's got some trees, so check those out. Mums Lego, the same thing, and iBrick Productions, and he pointed me out to a video or somebody else that was making good trees. There was something on um, Lego Ideas or Kuso, so lot, lots of good stuff there. Two things I'm excited for, I think, one of them definitely, is the sequel to the Lego movie, but that got pushed back, unfortunately. It's not going to release until May of 2018, so... An extra year that we gotta wait for that. But we don't have to wait for the Smosh movie. Yeah, I'm on YouTube, so I'm gonna say what's up to YouTube people that can make a real movie. It's on Netflix, and it came out yesterday. I'm not a Smosh fan, but maybe you guys are. I wanna point out some Lego cities on YouTube. Aaron Valadez uh, has a raised track, very cool city to check out. The Creator. A very cool city with a lot of custom buildings, something really cool to check out. Robert and Pat, a very, very big city there, uh, named the city Bayport. I like the planning with the light commercial, the heavy commercial, even an airport. Brick Monkey, already mentioned Brick Monkey with the roller coaster. And the Brick Man, the Brick Man has two trains in a loop, so some cool Lego cities for you to check out there. Okay, now it's time to answer that question. What year were the Lego Pirates released and how many sets were released? And the reason I asked this question is because Saturday, September 19th, was Talk Like a Pirate Day. And I saw on the Saturday night stream that they were talking about that and had the pirate-themed build. So very cool stuff there. 1989 is the answer. That's when Lego Pirates was released. That was in my prime. I loved pirate stuff. Technically, according to BrickLink, there were 12 sets released, including this one, which I got. Very awesome set, Forbidden Island. Awesome, awesome, awesome set with 163 parts and four minifigs. It's all scattered now. The pieces are all over the place. Um, now, I do say technically 12 sets because one of them is like a combo set and another one's more of like a magazine than an actual set. But we did also get El Dorado Fortress. Very cool set. Now, I never got this one. 461 parts and 8 minifigs, but it was really awesome too. The Cream of the Crop, one of the best Lego sets ever released, Black Seas Barracuda. I think a lot of people would agree that set 6285 is one of the best ever. 868 parts and 8 minifigs, super awesome stuff. If you were to look to buy that today, it would be an outrageous price. Nuts. Anyways, thank you very much for stopping by today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out all those other wonderful LEGO YouTubers that I spoke about earlier. I'll catch up with you next time. See ya! What those two items are, do you know what they are, and do you know what years they came out? Think about that. Arrrr! Banzai! I've got some pirate jokes for you. How about this one? Why do seagulls fly over the sea? I don't know.
Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be called bagels. Arr. Arr. Tell another, tell another. Okay, here's one more pirate joke for you. Why do young pirates always fail when saying the alphabet in kindergarten? I don't know. Because their fathers insist that there are seven C's. Arr.